Per the Ibrahim Index of African Governance, industry currently accounts for a quarter of Ghana's GDP, but by 2021, it is expected to account for at least 30% of the GDP and the main driver for the growth will be the automobile industry. Due to low disposable income and very high costs associated with new vehicles, used vehicles dominate the automotive retail sector. Interestingly, with the Customs Amendment Bill in full force, the ban on salvage and overage cars have been met with stiff opposition by some car dealers, though its ultimate motive is to give advantage to assembling plants in the country. The coming on board of giant car manufacturing companies, including VW, Toyota, Suzuki and Nissan has been touted as a great move, but some fear it might cripple local manufacturing company Kantanka, which has been in operation for some years now. According to Dr. George Echampon, who is a senior lecturer in marketing and entrepreneurship at the University of Ghana, Legon, the introduction of these giant manufacturing companies into the country comes with advantages and disadvantages. Generally, markets are not homogeneous. Markets tend to be heterogeneous meaning that there are different types of markets for the same product. So if, if you take these cars, you have high-end cars, mid-range cars, low-end cars, high-utility vehicles, and the like. So the question then is for Kantanka to reassess the position that VW will occupy, and then they can occupy a specific niche for which they can compete. The first locally assembled VW vehicles have been unveiled, but Toyota is scheduled to commence its operations in the last quarter of 2020 with Nissan, Suzuki, Renault also showing commercial interest. With the automotive development policy giving a leveled playing field to all assembling plants in the country, what is the fate of indigenous company Kantanka? A field trip to the Gomwa Importer factory of the local assembling plant revealed vigorous production to satisfy the Ghanaian market. For Kantanka, the presence of these giant brands do not pose a threat to the operations, but a deficiency builder in the automobile industry. Without any direction for the industry, this is what's going to happen. You don't know when and what time another government is coming out with a policy. And that policy may, you know, kick out the whole investment that you've, you've made. So we are happy with it. At least we have got in that leverage to move forward, to plan ahead. But what will go into buyers' decisions when making any purchase with an influx of other brands? For TV personality, Mickey Osei Berkun, though he would choose a Kantanka vehicle over VW just to keep the local company in business, standards, he admitted, must be upheld. This is an opportunity for the local manufacturers to step up and match up the international standards. So we'll give them some time to do that and I'm sure they're able to do that. Meanwhile, government is to establish an automobile industry development support center which will coordinate the technical processes for licensing domestic vehicle assembling and manufacturing. In ensuing days, expect to see the first ever electric car by a Ghanaian company on the roads. On the other hand, smaller cars with engine capacity of 0.8 are also being manufactured. And so with the ban on the importation of overage and salvage cars into the country, and also the introduction of some assembling plants like VW, Nissan and Suzuki into the country, experts are projecting that prices of these brand new cars would be beaten down for everyone to afford. George Quinn in Kantanka Automobile Factory, Gomwa Mpota, Central Region.